when it finishes. I mean, Robert Jones, and this is the ArtsBC Facebook Live, sponsored by the 2018 ArtsBC Conference. This year's conference is taking place uh, May 10th to 12th at the Nikkei um, National Museum and Cultural Center in Burnaby. And the theme of this year's conference is uh, engagement in the new arts era. And we're really excited to have Tina Martin with us. That's who you can see to my left. Wave, Tina. <laughs> Tina is the executive director of the Burnaby Arts Council, and she's at the Deer Lake Gallery. And um, we're going to talk about the conference, Tina, because um, it's the last Facebook Live, and we need to really get everybody out there and get them to the conference. And this is your chance to tell everybody why they should come. <laughs> I have lots of things to talk about. I'll answer all your questions. Oh, well, that's good. But we've never had that before. There's always dissenters. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, listen, um, first of all, I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself, Tina. What's your background? What is my background? Um, I've been the executive director at the Arts Council here for four years. Um, and where did I come from? Originally, actually, I worked at BC Rail for a good 10 years. And then I took a number of years off to stay home with my daughter, um, stay at home mom for a while. And during that time, I pretty much worked full time as a pack chair for arts or uh, Education through the Arts School, Confed Park Elementary. Hello, Confed Park people. Um, <laughs> and there, it was, it's education through the arts. So I completely have been in the arts for a very long time and am an artist myself. And so lots of administration experience, lots of art experience. And yeah. What kind of artist are you? What do you do, Tina? I'm a ceramic artist, actually. Pretty much self-taught. Um, many classes through the Shad Bolt. Um, I, uh, I basically do functional design, um, as well as sculptural pieces. So, mm -hmm. Whoops. See, ah! it happens. Better you than me. <laughs> you know what? I haven't had my phone go off yet since we've done this broadcast, but it had to happen once. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted. You were saying. Oh, that's okay. No, I am also a sculptural artist. Uh, and so my pieces, uh, recent pieces, was, was in luminescence. And so basically functional art. So. Oh, that's really interesting. And tell us a little bit about the Burnaby Arts uh, Council. You guys do some awesome work. You're the host, of course, of the conference this year. So thank you very much for having us. We're delighted to be coming. And um, But tell us a little bit about some of the things that you guys do. Um, so, as most arts councils are, we're a registered nonprofit. Um, we do a number of programs. So, we have Burnaby Summer Theater through Canada Summer Jobs. Uh, recently got our grant for that. And so, these kids go around, they create, write a play from SFU. And a couple thousand kids throughout the summer, they do this play, they create it, direct it, manage it, market it. Um, that's one of the things we do. Um, we have this gallery, as you can see here, with about uh, 11 to 12 exhibitions per year. Um, we also have uh, live at the gallery once a month, we engage uh, musicians to come and play, free for the community. Um, we also have at least once a month, um, Coast Salish or First Nations workshops, demos once a month. Um, so not just visual art, we, our, our house here is in Burnaby, I call it house, but it's a gallery, second home for me. Um, so there's lots of things we do do, especially in this last year, um, we've probably increased our programming by twofold in this last year alone, so. Yeah, that's really great. You guys are hi. hi, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Kathy Ramsey, the president of Arts BC. Hi, Kathy, from me too. Um, yeah, I mean, it's great. I think it's 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 great that you guys have a really vibrant um, program of, of of things for people to come and see and do. I think it's great to have a space as well. There's so many arts organizations I talk to who really are in need of a space, and you've got space. Yes, we have a beautiful space actually, and I have to say thank you to the city of Burnaby. Um, they have really come through, especially like this week. We have Susan Point exhibition. They came and mowed my lawn. They came and <laughs> hit the front deck and then we painted. And, and so it's really nice. They give us the building. Um, they do the property management and 
this is my second home basically, but it's a great home base for what we do in the city of Burnaby. So, yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's awesome. And uh, I encourage everybody to come out and see you at Deer Lake, uh, Deer Lake Gallery. And particularly, we'll talk about Susan Point's exhibition in a few minutes because that's a killer. I mean, it's a really major, major coup to have Susan there. So we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, I first want to focus a little bit on the Nikkei National Museum and cultural center because this is where the event is being hosted it's a, it's a fantastic venue uh, i'd like to you to talk to us a little bit about why you chose this event and and why it's so important i'd love to um if you haven't been to the nikkei center it is actually the most amazing little gem that a lot of people don't know about um, it's in central burnaby well close to met fairly close to metro town great facility absolutely great and it was the best decision that you could have ever made to go there. Um, the Nikkei, their mandate is to honor, preserve, share Japanese culture um, and Japanese Canadian history. And so for a better Canada. And so it's a Japanese based center, very unique venue. It's great rooms, large facility, gallery there. Um, and our, my experience, both Kathy Ramsey and I's experience with Karen and Kara at uh, the NEK Center has been phenomenal. And it's not just, and I have to say, it's not just because we're renting the facility, they've gone above and beyond to help us. And not even in the regular way, it's all very kind and soft and, and, um, and oftentimes I'm not soft. It's like, okay, let's get this done. And they're just so gentle and just so warm that it's been a joy to work with them. So. As a facility, I mean, they've got underground parking, they've got this beautiful park in the front. Um, you can't beat it. So it's, gonna, it's exciting to bring people there because a lot of people don't know about it. So. That's great. I think that's fantastic. You're right. Exposing people to new uh, things, this, this is really great. Um, are you here basically to tell us a little bit about uh, some of the social opportunities and networking events that are tied into the conference? You know, it's like, like every, you and I both go to a number of conferences every year, and, and these are really where things get done. You speak to people and you share ideas and you get ideas. And it's a really fantastic way of, um, of getting better at things rather than just necessarily listening to the presenters and their expertise. So, um, I was, I was, yeah, I was going to get you to try and explain maybe why you think that this is such an important part of the process of going to conferences, networking, socializing. Okay. Well, that's, I value my time a great deal. I mean, every minute, every hour. And so before even I go to a conference, I explore what you're offering. And so on this one, you can't not go. There's just so much in this conference, chock full of presenters that are amazing, outstanding. Um, uh, Patricia Huntsman and Kathy Ramsey have spent a great deal of time programming. But that's not why you brought me here today. I'm, talk, I'm to talk about the social end of it. And there are just um, so many opportunities to network. And as someone that uh, needs the networking, connect with peers, connect with people that can help me out, we've offered a lot of opportunity to do that. And so um, it's, in my job is critical. The more people I know, the more I can connect with, makes my job easier. So, uh, yeah, no, I think it's true. I think what you're saying is absolutely true. So um, I, I guess I've teased people long enough, don't you think? Why shouldn't we should probably talk about some of the things that are happening. Uh, so basically, what are some of the things that you can see and do outside the presentations? Okay, yes. So we kick it off Wednesday night. Everyone comes in, flies in, drives in. Wednesday night at Element uh, Hotel, um, just for the welcoming. You can register then too. And so that's um, free drink and networking. That's our kickoff Wednesday night. And so that's the day before the conference starts. Um, you can register, come. Uh, so that's Wednesday night. Thursday, even more. So throughout Thursday, throughout Thursday to Saturday, there's local moto arts. Um, artists Laura Lee Coles, Rob Sharon, um, they're basically demonstrating their community engagement art project. Um, moments of happiness and so during breaks during lunch during coffee um, they'll demonstrate that and uh, you can play with that for a little while it's pretty cool 
Very yeah, cool. it's, it's kind of an installation, isn't it? Do, um, it's, an inst it's an art installation and interactive. Oh, it's so awesome. Not just simply stare at something. Um, it's you, it's hands on. So yeah, yeah. I've seen their work online. They look really great. I have to say. So that's a really, tr that's a great uh, little special treat for everybody for sure. It truly is. It really is pretty neat to have that experience. What um, else have you got, Tina? Pardon me? What else have you got? Oh, sorry. Okay. So we, we've endeavored to, through this whole, um, with the Nikkei Center to integrate the Japanese culture through the conference. And so we have a number of opportunities. Thursday, um, Japanese tea ceremony, have an introduction to the art, culture, and history of the Japanese tea ceremony. And that is like 11 and 1 p.m., two options. It's a little bit of an extra cost um, just to confirm your space. So you can do that when you register. Thursday as well, um, sushi and wine reception after the conference during the day. So that's 5 to 6.30 p.m. And so we're bringing sushi in from a local sushi company. And um, we'll also, the artists, there's going to be an exhibition going on at the same time. And so the artist, uh, what is her name, Kel Kelty Miyoshi McKinnon will be at the sushi reception. And so any questions, she can go through the gallery with you. The gallery will be open. Um, and so, and we'll also have traditional Japanese koto music playing while we're there too. It's great. So that's, neat, mm -hmm. so that's a neat opportunity. That's yeah, third. That's that is great. I love it. I love the idea of having a guided tour of uh, of the pl of the venue because uh, it's, it's it's really interesting. It's really awesome. It's lots of you could miss stuff, and I think it's really good. People should take advantage of that if they can. Yes. So Friday and Saturday, uh, this is near and dear to my heart, um, Mindful Meditation with Dr. Erica Horwitz. And why I say that, uh, delegates are invited to sign up and register for this Introduction to Mindfulness. And I bring that up. It's Our jobs are, in the arts, there's a lot of labor of love, a lot of, lot of hours. And so sometimes the, our arts jobs takes over in our entire life. Um, so it basically helps you out, find out a more balanced um, stress relief and just mindfulness of what you're doing on an everyday basis. So it's very helpful. So two opportunities, Friday and Saturday, 7.15 to 8.15 a.m. On Friday, again, a guided facility tour and artist talk. So Kelty um, McKinnon and Lair uh, Carrie Latimer um, will take you around. You have another opportunity to talk to the artist. Friday night, fun, fun. And so we have membership appreciation. Party! Yes, well, some of us can. Um, at Steamworks Brewery, another Burnaby company, um, 6.30 to 10 p.m. Live music featuring local Burnaby musician, Jeff Neufeld. Um, and parked outside for our um, convenience is Fat Duck Eatery, which is yummy. Yeah, I love a food truck. I think this is an awesome idea. Mm -hmm. And so, or, well, the nice thing about Steamer Brewery, you could bring your own grub, but you can do that. They encourage it. It's a brewery, so you can. Um, but uh, Fat Duck Eatery, which is, has a variety of different foods, so you can do that as well. And that, that itself is sponsored by Tourism Burnaby. So thank you, Tourism Burnaby, for helping us out with that night. Um, but I should mention, if it's a membership appreciation night, so if you're an Arts BC member, you can come, or you can come with another delegate as their guest. Um, membership, I just just a little comment about Arts BC membership, if I may. Ian. Yes, you may. <laughs> uh, individual membership is only thirty-five dollars for Arts BC, and there's what I didn't even know. And talking to Kathy too is we're members, obviously. Um, for the benefit for our species members because it helps so it makes our Shaw Savy insurance cheaper. And they're also a sponsor of the event too. Is that you have access to Art Species Extended Health, Life, and Dental Plan. And uh, I fully are on board with that. A lot of arts councils do not give their people benefits. It's just the money's not there. And I, and I understand that. So um, I'm lucky my husband has insurance, but if you don't look seriously, look at an Arts PC membership. It's only thirty-five dollars, and during the conference, you get a nice gift. So Kathy and I have a gift for you if you buy your membership at registration, and you can come to the Steamworks Brewery. So bonus gift there. That's true, and like Kathy just said, you get free beer. <laughs> <laughs> yes.
Yes, you do. Free beer. Uh, how many memberships offer that? <laughs> so membership is cheap enough. So it's, I think it's worth it for health insurance, et cetera. Like, well, I've gone into that. So <laughs> um, Saturday, Saturday, Zen meditation again uh, with um, Dr. Horowitz uh, offers 7, 15, 8, 15 in the morning. And while I'm talking about that 7 to 15 time in the morning, um, we've connected with Burnaby Tourism and Charters. And so there's free buses that we've arranged from Element Hotel to the Nikkei Center, Nikkei Center back to the Element, and then to the social events. So one, we're offering an opportunity to get you there without having to worry about driving. Um, there is parking there. But then on the other, on the social occasions, if you want a beer, we don't want you to drink and drive, which is key. And so we're there. Um, so they've been, uh, Burnaby Tours uh, and Charters is an amazing company, and they'll be there for us. So I thought I would mention that. Thank you. Well, I think that's fantastic. I just think, like I said, the conference is so well organized. Everything's been thought of. And I mean that, not I'm obviously biased, but the truth of the matter is it is really well organized, right from the program and the speakers right down to the social event and networking and all the sorts of things, the logistical things that make for a great conference. So way to go, Tina, and way to go, Kathy yeah. and Patricia. I mean, it's, the three of you guys have done a great job. And, of course, Michelle Vanderwood. There's oh. a lot of people behind the scenes who are just doing a killer job. Yes. Okay, so Saturday night. So that is uh, Saturday night is the Deer Lake Culture Walk. Woohoo! Um, so <laughs> So after the entire day of great content on the Saturday, you don't want to miss out on Saturday, um, directly from the Nikkei Center to the Shadwilt Center for the Arts, um, we'll be seeing a private screening, A Time for Making, by Canadian researchers Philip and April Vanini. So we kick it off at the Shadwilt. We have coffee, coffee and tea, and then we're drummed up by Tycho Drummers up to the Burnaby Art Gallery at about 5.30. Um, so you're going to enjoy a little short stint with the Tycho drummers, complimentary wine and canapes. And then the exhibition on at the Burnaby Art Gallery is the 36th Annual Youth Showcase. So that's awesome. Very awesome. And then we kick it over to my gallery here, Deer Lake Art Gallery, about 6.30 p.m. And so it's, we're all in a close neighborhood. We have shadows. Burnaby Art Gallery, Deer Lake Gallery, five minutes from each other. One spot. How much cooler than that can you get? Oh, it's great. It's so convenient. I love it. Yeah. And so at my gallery here, there'll be live Latin music, and they're amazing. Um, <laughs> Kathy mentioned this yesterday, too. There'll be a variety of pickles and ripple chips um, that go amazingly well with the, with the arranged food truck. Cheesy does it. We've arranged a food truck to be parked in my front lot there. So delegates can, per, uh, delegates, delegates can purchase their cheesy goodness with the food truck parked outside of the gallery. So we've kind of got this 60s theme going on here for the food with the pickles and the cheese truck. I like it. It's going to be fun. And so Steamworks Beer, have to mention them. They're a sponsor of the event, too. Um, they have uh, sponsored the beer. So from our brewery the night before, I'm bringing them into the gallery here. So you can sample a variety of three different kinds of beer, plus the red and white wine. Cash bar, by the way. Um, <laughs> I have to mention that. And then 7 p.m., um, we are very lucky, Susan Point. So Susan will be doing a rare personal tour of the gallery's post exhibition viewpoint that's currently on exhibit right now and opens this Saturday. Um, so she'll be, I don't, if you haven't heard of her, look her up, Susan Point, online, internationally renowned creator, must be an artist, Susan Point. She's one of the mo quote, most prominent female Indigenous artists living today, really. Um, she's got work at the Vancouver Airport, Stanley Park, and then last year, a major retrospective at the Vancouver Art Gallery. So it was amazing opportunity that um, we have Susan in our gallery. And so working with her son, Thomas Cannell, who actually has work up at Shabbold as well. He's got uh, his pieces called Vitality, um, which is a per pretty much a permanent structure up there too. He's a, well, he's a very well-known artist as well. 
Um, so the exhibition's got new work and some old, not old work, but some new spindle whirl and prints, as well as some of, her, some of her treasured pieces. You can see behind me here. Yeah, I was going to say, is that Susan's work behind you? You know what? It's true. This is a real coup. Susan Point is extremely famous. As you say, she's a world-renowned artist, and this is a really amazing thing for her to come to Deer Lake and to be associated with the RSBC Conference. So we're delighted. And Well, that's a good job done, Tina. Well done. Actually, can you lift your can you lift your computer up? Can you have a spin around? Do you want to risk it? Can I can? Go. Let's go have a look. We haven't done this before. I can. Tell me hey. if I'm walking too fast. No, I just you point your camera down a little bit. Actually, that's good. Right there. Yeah, that's wonderful. So this is some of the work by Susan Point. It's really impressive, and that's a sculpture. This is her final piece here. It's not even quite done yet. She hasn't even finished it yet, that one. Yeah, well, this is very, yeah, this is very famous. It's like her world art, isn't it? And that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. That's terrific. So yeah, you get a really good idea of the space and it's a nice big space. It's a great, I love I love communing in galleries. It's so clean and <laughs> simple. You just don't really, there's nothing to knock over. <laughs> uh, well, that's not true, but please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well that's uh, that's Susan Point. Thanks. So that's an awesome. Um, th that's awesome. That's really awesome. Um, Tina, tell us a little bit. You wanted to say a little bit about the sponsors and maybe a little bit about local businesses and how important that is to uh, what you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. This, I guess, uh, between the the tenth and the twelfth. Uh, yeah, I'd love to actually. One of my um, working with tours in Burnaby, working with Nancy Small over there. Um, connecting with local Burnaby businesses, that was my key push, and, and as much as possible, um, engaging Burnaby businesses, um, Burnaby Tours and Charters, Steamworks, um, the local sushi company, and as many local businesses as possible. So just trying to engage locally. I mean, it's, it's Burnaby Arts Council. We're a local Arts Council, and then the Nikkei Centers in Burnaby. So it's, it was a great opportunity to work and connect with tours in Burnaby. Their connections, very helpful. The Nikkei Center, very, very helpful. Um, so that was one aspect. And then we have all these great sponsors. And Kathy was telling me uh, yesterday, Kathy Ramsey, was that this has been one of the best responses for sponsors to get involved. Um, to can I mention a few? Is that okay? Can Absolutely. I so, Take over, Tina. <laughs> I'm good at this. Uh, <laughs> Tours of Burnaby, Artscape, Daniel's uh, Lunchpad, Revelstoke Arts Council, Crafted Vancouver, Nordicity, Spark, which is Shaw Sabie, City of Burnaby, including the Shadbolt Center, um, Burnaby Art Gallery, Nikkei Center, Artslandia, Farmer Save, BC Turin Council, and of course us, the uh, host council, Burnaby Arts Council. So it's a very long list, and there will be opportunities throughout the throughout the conference to. I mean, I'm very grateful. This wouldn't be happening partially, probably because of the sponsors. I mean, that makes it our jobs easier. Um, so we're great to have them all on board. So. Yeah, I think it's great. We appreciate them. So yeah. thank you very much, and thanks for mentioning them, Tina. Um, we're sort of coming to uh, the end of our Facebook Live. And so I want to know if there's anything you want to say to people who might be contemplating registering, but haven't taken the plunge yet, Tina. What's our final pitch? What is the final pitch? I guess I have two points. Um, one of the critical things that I find and I've discovered from Uchula at the 2017 amazing event is the opportunity to network. Um, it's don't be afraid to put it out there. Uh, take a risk, discuss your issues, find people, connect with people um, in the arts organizations to make your job easier. And so with this conference, it's, it's time well spent, it's money well spent. Two things that are valuable to me as a nonprofit organization and investing in me. Um, if you're, even not, not even a nonprofit, if you're an artist or you're just a, an arts organization, the content in here, board development, you've got speakers on how to be an artist or various different presenters that um, there's something for everyone in there in the arts. And so 
which is part of it, but the networking, I don't know, creating meaning, meaningful conversations between people in the arts, finding tools, sharing with others, sometimes complaining and talking to someone who has the same issues you do. And it's nice to, for someone to understand that what you're going through as well, and you're not alone. Um, so it's worth it. I mean, if, if it were me, and when I look at a conference, is it money well spent? Yes. It's a good investment in your employer to employ you to go. Uh, do I want to waste? It's not wasting your time. It's three days of awesome time of content. So is that a good enough sell? Because if it were me, and because we're co-hosting, I'm there anyhow 24-7, I would invest in this conference without a doubt. So. Well, you sold me. I'm going to go. Yeah, good. <laughs> I'm going anyway, but I'm going to go now because I'm going to go even more now that you've said that. Yeah. Okay, so that's almost it. I want to ask you one last thing because it did pop into my head when you were saying that. It's like, you know, one thing that somebody might ask if they look at the program and they look at the social events, and they look at everything that's happening, they might say to themselves, oh, my gosh, this is really overwhelming. I was wondering if you, is there a way to do a conference? Do you think there's a strategy that people can employ or what would you suggest just as a closing thought? Okay. Well, it depends on what um, your goal is. I mean, there's there's classes that on board development, how to get a better board, or how to develop your board. Um, there's classes on grant writing. You got to think of where your focus is and what you want out of it. Um, yeah, very good point. And the challenge is Kathy Ramsey and Patricia Huntsman have put such an amazing conference together that you have a couple things going on at the same time. Well, you're going to have to choose. And how do you choose? I guess what your focus is. Um, a lot of our councils are going through stages. And so you have uh, board development might be the thing. And so you, you know, in your heart, what you need to do and okay, I need to develop my board. How do I do that? Go see Sandra Thompson, go through her class. Maybe I need to send my board to a class. Because how do you do, how do you get a better board? And oftentimes boards don't understand what to do. Um, and so there's, there's something for everyone. So. Yeah, no, I think that's a really good answer. It's so true. Not everybody comes with the same agenda to a conference. People are looking for different things. And again, I think you're right. Uh, Kathy and Patricia have really programmed a lot of different interesting things so you can pick and choose. And there probably will be some conflicts where you have two speakers and you really want to go to both. But um, you may not be able to, although we're going to do we're going to do a conference video. So you never know. You might get it, get it that way. Um, Tina, thanks so much for talking to us. It's really awesome. Thank you very much to the Burnaby Arts Council for hosting the Arts BC Conference. Like I said, this is our last Facebook Live before the conference, and you've been great. Thank you. And I actually, can I just say one thing? Yes. Um, working with Arts BC has been phenomenal. Um, it's been a real pleasure. And so, it's, they're a great organization. And it's not just for Lower Mainland. Arts BC works for arts across BC, not just down here. So that, they, as an organization working with Kathy, it's impressive, so. Yeah, no, I couldn't agree with that anymore. Kathy Ramsey is the president of Arts BC. She did an absolutely awesome job. There's 300 arts organizations all across the province. And so there's a lot of coordination. There's a lot of opportunity. And there's also a lot of need. And, and Arts BC is one of the great organizations who are trying to help those people to uh, thrive and prosper. And so, um, and again, big shout out to Patricia Huntsman as well for organizing the programming. I mean, it's a really big job and she's done an amazing job and you can see there's a vision and that's what this conference is all about. So we encourage all of you to come and check out Patricia's vision and Kathy's hard work and Tina's hard work. So thanks, Tina. We'll see you uh, next Wednesday. We will. Thank you, Ian. Take care. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.